Hey Boy Meets World fans, thanks for being here. Welcome back. Hit that like and subscribe button if you're so inclined. Either way, I'm glad you're here. We're talking about season one, episode 21, Boy Meets Girl, which I kind of think this episode should have been the last one of this season, but that's just me. Of course, Corey and Sean have a rather immature approach to the hormones and young teens video and uh, until the end. Uh, now Sean sees a girl next to him in a new light. Oh, Minkus, he's so nice and saying how beautiful and soft creatures women are. And he has a magazine for girls to get the insider scoop. And Corey finds it funny. Sean is interested. It's so funny watching Corey be like, oh, well, you know, Eric uses a shotgun approach from dialing random numbers until he gets the, yeah, a yes. As he gets lots of no's because Sean wanted to know how to ask out a girl. So funny that Corey's like, what's the point? Then you have a girl. <laughs> ah, young girl asks Sean out and he's got his goofy laugh that is per perplexing Corey. Sean can't talk about it until he starts talking to Eric and Corey comes in like, what's going on? Eric says, this is guy stuff. Ooh. Morgan's so cute, if not a little obnoxious. Who am I sitting in the car with? Come on, Eric, take me to the mall. And Corey's all feeling left out. Because Sean is talking to Eric and, yeah, the topic he just doesn't get yet. Sean says nothing will change. And then he goes to sit with Hillary for lunch and leaving Corey to go talk to Minkus about the girl magazine. And, uh, well, he does not, <laughs> he does not have his telegram yet. His emotion, he says, this is not about love. It's about revenge. Ah, one side of the same coin. Corey ends up asking Topanga to go to the burger joint. She's a vegetarian. <laughs> of course, let's go to the vegetarian place across the street. Great! Because <laughs> that magazine taught him how to fake interest. Is that where the guys fake interest in, you know, oh, sure, I love whatever you love, and that's not true. <laughs> but she says, it's a date. And he's like, a date? Who said anything about a date? Corey so doesn't understand what's going on here. Oh, Amy's all excited that Corey's talking to a girl, and Alan's like, oh, no. He is in for a ride. Only thing that ever have, only thing that got me through dating was knowing I'd be married one day and I'd be calling the shots. And Amy goes, I'm so sorry it didn't work out for you. Good one, Amy. <laughs> Alan is so like, Topanga, oh no. Amy thinks it's wonderful. And then when Corey walks in, son, this is the stupidest thing you've ever done. <laughs> Alan's like, the hormonal movie? They're still showing that thing? And then Amy's like, wait a minute, did you ask Topanga out to keep up with Sean? Corey's like, whoa, how did you know? Alan says it's the sorority of Satan. <laughs> and they say, you should cancel your date if that's not how you feel. He goes, you're right, with women, honesty is the best policy. And Alan says, and he thinks he's ready to date. Boo, honesty is the best policy. So instead of being honest, he lies and says he's sick. And Topanga, being the kind person she is, brings him some bunch of tea <laughs> that he says smells like a bunch of gym socks. And then she's like, well, okay, fine. I'm sorry to have bothered you. I just wanted you to feel better. And then he goes, I'm not sick. I just wasn't ready to go out on a date. And of course she understands. <laughs> Before Topanga leaves, she goes, may I ask you a personal question? The look on Corey's face is great. He wants to teach her how to throw the socks into the laundry basket. Grab some ammo. <laughs> she grabs on his Ninja Turtle underwear. <laughs> Through all his lively commentary, she just places the sock in the basket. Look, we both made a basket. Then she tosses it in. <laughs> the classic high five where Corey's goofy laugh comes out. Just like Sean's and he's like, ooh. Oh my god, he's being funny, and she's like, you're killing me, Corey, and here comes his goofy laugh again. 
I like when Eric sees Sean and he goes, ah, young me. Eric and Sean let Corey know he did kind of have a date with Topanga. Ah, and then at school, he said that wasn't a date. That's fine. You know a lot about women. I am going to grow up to be one. And she adjusts his collar and he promptly readjusts it down. Sean and Corey say Minkus was right. <laughs> the girl, important girls will come into our lives and stay for days at a time. There's going to be hormones and there's going to be girls. We made it through our first dates, and we're going to stay best friends. There's second dates, third dates, and proms, engagements, marriage, second marriages, says Sean. Whatever comes along, we're going to face it together. And as Hillary walks one way and Topanga walks the other, the boys chase after their respective females. <laughs> Later! <laughs> so we're talking about the podcast, and right off the bat, I must say... Writer, you are very loyal to stay with a dentist who isn't very good. <laughs> it's so wild to think that they thought the first, the last episode of the first season was going to be their last ever. This is the first episode Writer felt like he was actually acting. I thought the laugh scene with Writer. Uh, or Sean doing the goofy laugh was really funny because it's like that moment where you're like, uh-oh, something just clicked for him. That's true. When Sean started becoming girl crazy, Eric did kind of back off of that um, or begin to back off of that. And yeah, it's funny. I know that like the stupider, crazier Eric that we got in later seasons Probably wasn't a favorite of Will's, but I have to say, I always loved him in that role. He was so good at it. Yeah, I guess the little laugh that Sean did with the girl was a little long, but it was still just funny. Attention to detail, Will strikes again. The enormous ketchup and mustard jars. I actually don't recall that. Yes, Topanga's exclamation of, I love IHOS, International House of Salads. Good line. Mmm, that's interesting. The generational uh, difference with uh, parents and dating a lot of people just dating. And uh, instead of focusing all your energy on one person. It's an interesting concept. Maybe we should bring that back. Again, I did not notice Rusty pouring coffee into a milk glass. Oh, so Will says this is the first episode where Corey's parents actually say the name Topanga. She's becoming more into their world. Will's voiceovers are chef's kiss. <laughs> Apparently Ben was a bad phone actor, never dialing, just picking up. I too remember m knowing everybody's phone numbers. We used to have great memories back in the day. I think that's one of the reasons smartphones kind of killed our memories. Well, it's true. There might have been electricity in the air with the audience when Topanga and Corey touched hands, that whole scene. But that is the moment where it was really cemented that Topanga wasn't going anywhere. Oh, so Michael, the showrunner, even touched her, Topanga's face on screen in that moment and said, what a find. Her grand, uh, Daniel's grandfather told her that. That's pretty cool. Oh, that is crazy, though, that Topanga didn't become a, re a series regular until season three. That's so crazy. I think it's funny that Daniel doesn't like her uh, acting in that scene uh, just because she was so over the top. That, I'm sorry, you didn't like, I just wanted to bring you tea. Like, I can see it, but it's just so funny because it's such an iconic scene. Okay, I kind of like the Lincoln assassination joke. I thought that was funnier than the bunch of... Uh, gym sock. Oh, I knew Will would comment on the the underoos. He totally wear them. I'm not an actor. I'm not an expert on this, but I don't think Danielle did that bad on the on these scenes. I thought they were more like an 11 year old would do. That scene when Corey covers his mouth and he's like shocked at his laugh. I think that could have been where the episode ended, too. I agree with Ryder on that. That is true. When Tabanga says, oh, you're killing me, Corey. That was very cute. Ah, oh, good point. There's not a lot of Bill Daniels in this one, either. 
hey, I wouldn't mind doing two episodes a week. Then again, eh, maybe not. <laughs> a child therapist rewatching their childhood with them. Interesting idea. Oh, there's already a fan slash therapist who wants to come on and talk about it. Well, that was this episode. Boy meets girl. And if you enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe, and I will see you next week.